right, folks, Tommy Cowett here on the lawn with Growing Green. And we are doing a springtime pre-emergent, post-emergent herbicide application on this lawn. As you can see there's a little bit of po and you. That's not something we typically control. But uh, what we do have here is a situation with a customer of ours who loves their lawn. But they unfortunately have a neighbor who is quite pesticide sensitive and does not like the use of liquid chemicals. He's okay with granular, which is essentially the same active ingredients. But he thinks that, uh, see the shade area, there were some Leland Cypress that he was trying to grow as a screen uh, over along that wood line and they were in the shade and basically uh, they died off. And I could show you some dead ones that are still there. They were actually ice damaged. Um, but Matt Porter is pulling hose, and this guy doesn't like it. And he's cussed us all out, called us morons, called us ignorant. He said he didn't like the smell of it. But basically, you've got what you have is an issue with shade. And that's what killed these Leland Cypress or is killing them. As you can see, they get light on one side, but they get no light on this side. So they've pretty much been dying off due to the shade issue. But we've been told in no uncertain terms and that he does not like the liquid applications. Um, doesn't like the smell of it, thinks it's killing birds. He's ignorant. He called me ignorant, called me a moron. And uh, I believe he's the ignorant one. He won't listen to reason. There is no reason when it comes to somebody like that. Sort of like global warming, you know. You're just going to let a few select scientists dictate what everybody else has to live with now. If they're going to do something about it, you know. We all have to pay the price because somebody's sensitive to pesticides. But what they don't know is we're actually improving the environment with this spray. We're applying the organics, the biostimulant, with some herbicides that control the weeds, and it makes for a perfect lawn. And it actually improves the environment, improves the soil. There's research out there that tells you that, that by the end of the year, there'll be more nitrogen here on the lawn fixated from the mycorrhiza the bacteria, the amoebas, the protozoans, everything that we're putting out. Plus, Matt's also got herbicides in there for the weeds. And herbicides have no effect on mammalians or any type of, you know, invertebrates or vertebrates. So, hey, um, on the lawn here, we don't know if we're going to get accosted or be cussed out again by these... Uh, chemically sensitive people who are okay with granular they just don't like it in a liquid form go figure and I'm not really smelling anything right now he complained about smell I don't smell a thing all right Tommy Cowett here with Matt Porter on the lawn looks like we might walk out of here unscathed today no insults but we it's not over yet all righty we'll see what happens